everyone this is suzy q crafter 21 and today i am coming to you with the 757 cwa and company mixed media collab who's hosted by dawn who's there to be creative we also have miss little scrappy who's lisa and sheba who sheba finds donna who doesn't have a youtube channel but she is on instagram I'll leave their links in the description box below. As you can see, I've used all types of different materials in my project. We decided this month to do a bird house. And I pulled out all kind of crafty supplies that I had in my room. I used the gel mediums from michael's distress dress ooh, distress oxide inks um from tim holtz or from ranger and then i use the glimmer paste uh from uh tonic studio and um i use some of my golden gel mediums uh, the fiber paste. I've had it for a while, so it's starting to dry out. I also used my Lindsay Stamp Gang sprays. I found a purple and blue that I really like. I was able to cut out flowers using that green uh, wrapping paper that she got from Daiso. I did not have um gesso so i used the white titanium in its place that is the base that i did a double um piece on that i cut out using my glow forge yes i have a glow forge and i'm able to cut um certain depths of wood with it i'm able to engrave with the glow forge and here you can see i cut the top and the bottom I found some small little frames in my stash from Michael's from their Dollar Tree spot. I used to love uh, shopping in the Dollar Tree spot at Michael's. And here you can see I put down the spray first and then I had to let it dry and then I was able to go back and put down my Distress Oxide inks to give it a little bit more color. Um, I really enjoyed making this bird house. It turned out to me really nice. And I plan on doing another bird house um, a little bit taller for my mother's uh, garden. She loves to plant flowers and she has a beautiful garden and I think this would be a nice addition. I probably will do it where it has a little bit more, um, it's, you know, weatherproof, but, um, this one, I just really love how it all came together with the flowers from Little Birdies and the sprays that I had in my stash and uh, just the colors and just the shimmer that it has on it. I definitely plan on putting this one up in my craft room somewhere on display. I really hope you enjoyed this video 
and got a little bit of information on some of where you can get some of these supplies from. And as always, happy crafting.